everybody! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to crochet a teddy bear. I did make a short on this teddy bear and this one I made out of Dollar Tree yarn. You only need one skein of the brown Dollar Tree yarn to for all the brown parts of the bear. And then you'll need some white for the eyes and black for the nose and then some pink for the blush. These teddy bears are super easy to make and a great gift for all ages. My youngest sister has been sleeping with this one every night since I made it. The materials you'll be needing to make this teddy bear is any color for the actual teddy bear color, and I am picking tan. You will also need some pink, black, and white to embroider the face. You will also need a 5mm or an H8 hook, a pair of scissors, a safety needle, 12mm eyes, and some backings, and you will also need some stuffing. For one of the head and body, we are going to be doing six seal crochet in a magic ring. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, just chain two and do your six seal crochet into the first chain. Once you're done, you can just tighten it by pulling on the string in the middle. And now we can move on to round two, which are six increases. So an increase is two seal crochet into the same stitch. So one seal crochet into the, the stitch, and then another seal crochet into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat that five more times for a total of 12 stitches. For round three of the head, we are going to be doing single crochet one increase, which means we are going to single crochet into the first stitch, and then do an increase into the next stitch, and then we're going to repeat that five more times for a total of 18 stitches. For round four, we are going to be doing seal crochet two increase, and we're going to repeat that six times for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to seal crochet into the next two stitches, and then do an increase into the third stitch. For row 5 of the head, we are going to be doing single crochet 3 increase, which means we're going to single crochet into the next 3 stitches. And then we're going to do an increase into the 4th stitch, and we're going to repeat that 5 more times for a total of 30 stitches. For round 6, we are going to be doing single crochet 4 increase, which means we're going to single crochet 4 into the next 4 stitches. And then we're going to do an increase into the 5th stitch, and we're going to repeat that 5 more times for a total of 36 stitches. For rows 7 through 11, we are going to be seal crocheting around the entire piece, which means we're going to go around the entire piece five times. So now I'm going to be doing seal crochet four decrease, and we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to seal crochet into the next four stitches, and then we're going to do a decrease into the fifth and sixth stitch. And we're going to repeat that five more times for a total of 30 stitches. For round 13 of the head, we are going to be doing single crochet three decrease. So we're going to do a single crochet into the next three stitches. 
And then we're going to be doing a decrease into the fourth and fifth stitch. And we're going to repeat that five more times for a total of 24 stitches. Now we're going to take our 12 millimeter eyes and place them between rows 9 through 10 of the head. And they should be 6 to 7 stitches apart from each other. So we're just going to stick the one eye in between rows 9 to 10. Then count over 6 or 7 stitches. And then you're just going to insert the eye into the other eye right there. And that's it. All you have to do now is attach the backs. So for row 14 of the head, we are going to be doing seal or shay 2 decrease, which means we are going to seal or shay into the next two stitches. And then we're going to be doing a decrease into the third and fourth stitch, and we're going to repeat that five more times for a total of 18 stitches. Now for row 15 of the head, we are going to be doing seal crochet one decrease, and that means we're going to seal crochet into the first stitch, and then decrease into the second and third stitches, and we're going to repeat that six times total for a total of 12 stitches. So now we are going to be stuffing our head. For row 16, we are going to be doing single crochet 1 increase, and we are going to repeat that 6 times for a total of 18 stitches. So we are going to single crochet into the first stitch, and then we are going to be doing an increase into the next stitch, and we are just going to repeat that 5 more times. For row 17, we are going to be doing single crochet 2 increase, and we are going to repeat that 6 times for a total of 24 stitches. So we are going to be doing a single crochet into the next 2 stitches, and then we are going to be doing an increase into the 3rd stitch. And we are going to repeat that 5 more times. Now for rows 18 through 24, we are going to be single crocheting 24 around the entire piece, which means we are just going to be going around the piece in 7 times. For round 25 of the body, we are going to be doing single crochet 2 decrease, and we are going to repeat that 6 times for a total of 18 stitches. So we are going to do a single crochet into the first 2 stitches, and then a decrease into the 3rd and 4th stitch. And then I'm just going to repeat that five more times. And now we are going to stuff our body. So for row 26, we are going to be doing a single crochet and then a decrease. So a single crochet into the first stitch and then a decrease into the second and third stitches. And then we're going to repeat that six times total for a total of 12 stitches. Once you're done with that round, you can just stuff it a bit. And then we will move on to round 27, which we will be doing 6 decreases all the way around to bring us to a total of 6 stitches. Now we're going to fasten off. Now we are going to be moving on to the ears, and we're going to start with six single crochet in a magic ring. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, you can chain two and do your six single crochet into the first chain. Once you're done with your six single crochet, you can tighten the magic ring. For round two, we are going to be doing six increases. An increase is two single crochet into the same stitch, and we're going to do that all the way around to bring us to a total of 12 stitches.
For rounds three through four, we are going to be single crocheting 12 around the entire piece, which means we're going to round, go around the piece two times. Once you're done with rounds three through four, we can fasten off by doing a slip stitch and a chain one. Make sure you leave a long tail for sewing. Then once you're done, you can just flatten the ear because it will be going onto the bear like that. And then you just need to make sure to make two of them. We're going to be moving onto the arms. So for row one, we're going to be doing eight single crochet and a magic ring. If you don't know how to do a magic ring, you can also chain two and do your eight single crochet into the first chain. Once you're done with your eight single crochet, make sure you tighten your magic ring. And then for round two through four, we are going to be single crocheting eight around the entire piece, which means we're going to be going around the entire piece three times. Once you're done, you can slip stitch and chain one to fasten off. Make sure you leave a long tail for sewing. And there's your arm. Make sure you make two of them. We are going to be moving on to the legs. And for round one, we're going to be doing six single crochet in a magic ring. If you do not know how to make a magic ring, you can chain two and do your six single crochet into the first chain. Once you've done six single crochet, make sure you tighten your magic ring. And for round two, we are going to be doing single crochet one increase, and we're going to repeat that three times. So we're gonna single crochet into the first stitch, and then we're going to be doing an increase into the second stitch, and then we're gonna do that two more times for a total of nine stitches. Once you've done round two, for rounds three through five, we're going to be doing single crochet nine, which means we're going to single crochet around the entire piece three times. Once you're done with round five, you can slip stitch and chain one to fasten off. Make sure you leave enough of a tail to sew onto the body. And then you just need to make two of them. Now we are going to be moving on to the tail. And for row one, we are going to do six seal crochet into a magic ring. If you do not know how to make a magic ring, you can chain two and seal crochet six into the very first chain. Once you've done your six seal crochet, you can pull on the string to tighten the magic ring. And for round two, we are going to be doing single crochet increase, and we're going to repeat that three times total for a total of nine stitches. So we're going to single crochet into the first stitch, and then we are going to increase into the second stitch, and we're just going to repeat that two more times. Once you're done with round two, you should have a total of nine stitches. And for round three, we are going to be single crocheting nine, which means we're going to just go around the entire piece. Once you're done, we're going to slip stitch and chain one to fasten off. Make sure you leave enough of a tail to sew onto the body. The last piece we are going to be making is the snout. And what we're going to start with is six single crochet in a magic ring. And if you don't know how to make a magic ring, you can chain two and do your six single crochet into the first chain. 
Once you're done with your six tail crochet, we are going to be moving on to the next round, which is six increases, which means we're going to be doing two single crochet into the same stitch, and then we're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. Once you have finished round two, for round three, we are going to be single crocheting 12, which means we're going to go around the entire piece. Once you're done with that, we're going to finish off with a slip stitch and chain one, leaving enough of a tail for sewing. Grab your needle and your black yarn, and we are going to be sewing the nose onto our snout. And we're going to start by putting the black yarn onto the needle. And I like to go into the center of the magic ring to start out. And then I like to go straight up and then back through the middle of the magic ring. And then I like to go off to the side on one side, just like that. And then to the other side. Just like that, and then I like to go over each of the lines one more time. Once you're done with that, you should be able to kind of pull the strings apart a bit. So that way it can cover the entire surface of where your nose will be. And then I like to sew a line going down the other way so that way it has a little mouth. And then we can just cut the yarn. And then we can just tie the two black ends together in the back. time to assemble our bear and I have all the pieces laid out in front of me and I'm just going to grab my needle and the tail and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew it to the back of the bear right here and the eyes should be in front and the tail is right in the back just like that we finish sewing on the tail we're going to add a bit of stuffing And then after that, just finish sewing up the tail and then fasten off. So now we're going to grab our snout. And we're going to sew it between the eyes, between rows 10 to 13. So I'm going to count down to row 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And that's where we're going to put our snout right there. Before we finish sewing on the snout, we're going to stuff it a bit. And then we're going to finish sewing it. So now we're going to grab our ears. And we're going to sew them between rows four through seven of the head. So we're gonna count down one, two, three, four. And that is where our first ear will go right there and then just sew it down and make sure it's curved a little bit just like that so that way it has a little bit more of an ear shape
So now we are going to grab our feet. And we're going to sew between rows 22 through 25 of the body, which will be down here. So I like to count from the top all the way down. And I found row 22, and we're going to sew it for row 22 to 25. So one will be here, and then the other one should be about three stitches away from it. So right here. And you should be sewing them right under the eyes. Before you finish sewing the leg on, we are going to stuff it. And then once you're done stuffing it, just finish it off. Then once you're done, do the same thing for the other leg. Then once you're done with the feet, we can move on to the last thing we'll be sewing on, which are the arms. So we are going to be sewing the arms between rows 16 through 19, so we can count down from the top of the head all the way down to row 16. Right here is where we're going to sew it, and we're going to sew it between row 16 through 19, right under the eyes, and we want to have it about three stitches apart, same with the feet, just like that. Now we are going to sew on the last face details with pink and white. So starting with white, we're going to grab our needle and put the white on. And we're going to sew a little semicircle around the eye. So just poking your needle in right here. And then pushing it into right here. And then pulling it out. We can create a little half circle right here. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. And then we're going to fasten it off by pulling the yarn over here and then tying a knot and hiding the ends. Just like that, and then now we're going to be using our pink to sew some blush under the eyes. So go ahead and put your pink on the needle. And now all we're going to do is we're going to stick our needle right here, and then sew a blush right under the eyes, and it should be about two stitches long. Then bring your needle to the other side and sew another blush right under the other eye too. And that is what your bear should look like at the very end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and keep an eye out for my next video. Thanks for watching!